It is exciting to be joined by two inspiring women in science and in STEM. Uh, we have with us Rocio Navarro, who is a science educator and biologist, as well as Dr. Rachel Ward-Maxwell, uh, who's a researcher and programmer in astronomy and space sciences, uh, working with us at the Ontario Science Centre. Thank you both for joining us uh, and for really helping to mark International Women and Girls in Science Day. Uh, to inspire other young girls right across this province and country to pursue STEM education. So let me start uh, with uh, Dr. Ward Maxwell, just to give us a bit of context of what inspired you to pursue this, what sort of uh, really gave you that motivation to enter into this field and give us a bit about your story. For me, there wasn't just one big aha or eureka moment. I didn't always want to be a scientist, um, but when I was young, I I was always curious. I loved collecting rocks and visiting the Ontario Science Centre uh, growing up around here. And it was really only gradually that I started to realize that curiosity could be a job. That's a big part of what scientists do, being curious, asking questions about nature and the universe. And I think a big influence for me was I made that decision to pursue science around the time I was in grade 10. I had an amazing science teacher and that made all the difference. Yeah, Rocio, please share with us. It's not something that happened uh, from one night to the other. It took time, it was gradual. Uh, at first I thought science was not really something that interested me. Although my mother is a physics teacher, uh, I kind of didn't really get too much into science, but little by little, uh, I started really enjoying it. Um, and when I immigrated to Canada, because I, am, I was born in Peru, uh, I had a, an amazing teacher at Hammersley Collegiate in Toronto. Uh, her name was Miss Ness, and she was our physics teacher. I decided I would take physics. And she told us that she had been, this was back in the 90s, uh, she told us she had been the first female graduate in the physics department at the University of Toronto. So I found that very, very uh, inspiring and she was very supportive. And at the time I didn't understand it, but I think she did have a great influence on me and on many other, um, other girls. And so um, I find that science gives you an opportunity to uh, not only improve life, not only get job opportunities, but also enjoy life. There are reasons to celebrate with science. And Rocio, um, tell me a bit about um, what your message is to other young girls who maybe are interested in the sciences or starting to appreciate the inquisitive nature of this field and discovery and like you both excited about the potential. Uh, what's your message to them? Because I think uh, we often hear of a low level of uh, women participation when it comes to STEM education. We're trying to grow that. And I think you have an opportunity to speak directly to them. Yeah, that's such a, a great question. Uh, number one, there are job opportunities. That's the, one of the obvious reasons. Uh, and of course, we want more girls to be able to have those opportunities. But even if science is not something that interests you, maybe, you, maybe you're interested in a different type of career that doesn't involve science. Science still gives us um, a reason to, like I said, celebrate life in a way, uh, understand things better. So um, for instance, you could be at home in the middle of the pandemic and you feel like, oh, there's not much to do, but you know what, the skies are there. And Rachel is an astronomer, so she knows what I'm talking about, but you can still look at the sky and look for the planets are out there that look so gorgeous and celebrate just nature. So science gives you a, a reason to celebrate, to understand life better, even if, we're, if you decide not to be a scientist. And also, uh, finally, scientific research needs uh, has priorities. And so we need more voices uh, of, all, of all the, the diverse people, including girls and women. Uh, what should those priorities be in terms of scientific research? So just be making your voice heard um, yeah, that, so those three main reasons, I would say, is uh, one good to, to get involved into science. Absolutely. Yeah, and Rachel, please. Thank you for that great question, Minister. And that's great advice, Rocio. I agree with everything you've said. For me, I would suggest to learn about stereotypes and barriers so you know them when you see them. Uh, I think that you don't have to accept, well, you know, I guess this is what it's like, or that's the way things are. Um, because it can be changed and we can change it together. Uh, science is all about problem solving. And uh, as Rocio said, science needs everyone uh, to solve these problems together. 
I, uh, I really think that's an amazing story uh, to encourage young people, particularly young girls, to challenge assumptions, stereotypes, uh, norms, and for them to see themselves uh, within these incredible fields of discovery and innovation and really in helping to solve some of the great challenges of our time. Uh, as we deal with the pandemic, that uh, human element really punches through. And I think as Rocio mentioned, there's, there's still beauty amongst the difficulty we face around us. It, it just takes a bit of appreciation for it. So the fact that you made your time, made yourself available um, to speak to young girls in Ontario and to encourage them to keep going, to keep fighting and to pursue their dreams, I think is amazing and a testament to your own leadership in your community. So thank you so much for doing this, for inspiring uh, many young girls. I hope we have uh, continued to the strong tradition in this country of being a leader in research and development and innovation. Um, so thank you for doing everything you do every day for our, for our kids. And I really hope that people watching, young people watching in Ontario, uh, get motivated to continue to take scientific discovery courses within our education system. Well, thank you so much.